Ah, going to wish you, she ran to wish you, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria Too Hard Darkness, the Indian campaign, where we are beginning the final war. Guys, basically, this is probably going to be the last war of the series. I mean, we might get into one more minor skirmish here and there, but this is the massive major war, where this is kind of testing my mind, which is, you know, a little bit shocking that I'm actually being tested here, but... Eh, it's good that I'm actually being tested. I'm glad that the last few moments of this game are not just James is so powerful he can't he'll never be able he'll never be defeated ever. And this is kinda boring to watch. No, we actually have a really good tense situation developing where I honestly don't know if I'm gonna win or not. And the funny thing is, is that I'm so excited to figure out if I'm gonna win this or not. I really am. Like it's one of my are you going inside my territory? You're going inside my territory, of course. Right? You know, when I encourage rebels, they go after me. <laughs> That's basically how it is, everyone. You go, you encourage rebels, and they go after you. So yeah, I'm just going to be. I'm rapidly taking up, taking parts out of these guys. Um, I'm going to go send more men to go deal with all these guys over there. We have enough time to do a lot of things. I can counteract a lot of these troops. I mean, the Russians scare me just a little bit, but they aren't scared. Of course, let's let's be real here. They're just they're 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 of the old regime. And their forces are frankly old. Russia just I don't know why, but the Russian AI just never ever builds up a good enough force. They always seem to build up a very very weak and pathetic force. I can usually crush it. A good amount. And you obviously want alliance, but yeah, every time I try asking you guys to join my war, you guys say no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good friendship we have here, Germany. Good friendship we have here. Because I would really love if, I could, if you could join my war. And I don't know when did this all happen, but Djibouti has been conquered. Oh, they must they must be friendly with Egypt. That's the only way I can see that happening. Yeah, and then connections, okay. No, calling out. Maybe? Or too bad, you guys are gonna be called in. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Oh my goodness, thank you! So the fourth great war started, and I finally have some help with this. Thank goodness! Because I was getting pretty dang tired of, of having to deal with all this stupid stupid stuff, so now Russia's gonna actually have to deal with the real force, and now the odds of our army have now been tipped in our favor, this is now officially just ludicrous, I mean, we're not, we're not even gonna deny it, this has now become a full-fledged war, um, <laughs> now with, uh, let's see, how does Austria, is Austria gonna defend itself, you know, the, the Russians, the Germans are just gonna steamroll them, aren't they? Yeah, because I think, okay, Indusor just got a new thing. Does that mean I can conquer them? No. Dang. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I do these things, is to conquer them. Yeah, I can never do that. Okay, but yeah, um, we're going to chase these guys down to the ends of the earth. We need to kill them. I'm going to start re resupplying these guys. I'm trying to make sure we don't get too much nutrition. That's way too much nutrition. Divide these guys up. Move these guys now. That's way too much nutrition. Yeah, I can take about a 2.0 nutrition rate, but anything more than that, it's just like, what the heck am I doing? Okay, then we have a good sized army over here, a decent sized army over there. Let's move all these guys over here and let these rebels just do their thing. Like, let's let let's let them. Ah, oh, dang it! I didn't want to get involved into this. Guys, fight them off! Fight the rebels off! Can I get out of here? I really don't want to fight the uh, Russian rebels. Oh my, well, I slaughtered them, but still, I didn't want to fight them. They were helping me in some way. So I think a battle somewhere. Oh, India, really? Britain, you know that's not going to work. We, we've been through this many times. You guys don't win when you guys get on my continent. You guys just cannot ship enough forces to fight me on my continent. I have a massive, at least, I have a massive army. I mean, look at that. 71k soldiers for that and I do have gas attacks. So don't mess with me. Surprisingly, I'm not winning that by that much. But probably because of some stupid reason. But yeah. Now look at that. The battle of time has turned to our favor. The 
which is a good thing, I guess. <laughs> We're just rapidly taking over all these little countries. I'm pushing back. Holy shoot, where did all these guys come from? Like, you turn your back for one second on Austria, and they just rapidly send in, like, 40 different men. That's pretty good, because then that means, Germ that means uh, northern Germany is not going to be broken apart. I think most of the Soviets are dealing with me right now, so that's pretty good. Um, heck, maybe I might even get Japan in this war if I can do really lucky. I can be really lucky. Come on. Yes! Okay, so now Japan's in this war. Now I've got a good alliance going. Because now Japan is going to be providing some help over here because they have to. Because they have a mills they have a land access over there. So now this is starting to become a really this is becoming an evenly fought battle. Like, we now have an evenly fought battle. I mean before it was kinda even oh my goodness, you guys are really starting to annoy me. Austria. Like, I mean, you guys are seriously starting to annoy me. Like, before I could actually deal with you, now you guys are just starting to become annoying as anything. But yeah. Let's see, you guys go in there. Like, you see, now Russia's starting to pull back a lot of its troops. Because they realize that I have a massive military alliance and I know how to use it. So, stinks to be the- How did- Never mind. And if anyone ever says that South Africa- uh, Africa did not contribute to any war. Just look at this. This is amazing. They just, an army of 47k of African soldiers just landed in Vietnam. And we have all heck breaking loose. To form an alliance, they will not accept. I mean, we are rapidly winning this war. So that's good. And the Germans are unobombing them all to death. Which is good. But let's see, would that, would it make any difference? Infamy, distance, too many alliances. Yeah, it wouldn't make any difference if I did anything. But the good thing though is is that Germany's already deployed, so that's good. And we're rapidly taking on those guys. Now Soviet Union is now feeling threatened enough to deploy their massive hordes. Um I'm hoping Japan will also join in so that they won't we won't just be by ourselves. Cause we need this massive fleet over here. Because that massive fleet will help us a lot. A lot, people. I mean a lot. And this is really draining my taxes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, but let's start fighting back some of these men. Um, don't know, even know where they came from. Like, legitimately, I don't even know where the Austrians were able to raise up this much of an army to fight me. Like, seriously, all of a sudden I see like 60,000 men on my sword and I'm just like, what the heck? Where was I when they were landing? Okay, so we're gonna try to go destroy some of these guys because they're kind of annoying me. Let's start organizing some of our armies. And let's start moving into some of these Russian lands to kind of to kind of not really push them back because I know if I conquer all of Russia, it's going to be a major pain. <laughs> Conquering Russia at any point in time is a major pain. Anyone can tell you that. So, but we're gonna need to provide some bit of pressure that way the Germans over here do not completely collapse. As you can see, the Germans are already having difficulty controlling the Austrians, the Soviets, and all these guys. They need a different person to help them out. Form an alliance. No, you guys would not form an alliance with me. Uh, I need a different person over there in Europe to help out. Spain? Maybe? Yeah. I'm guessing America wants to be isolationist, right? No, actually, I could possibly convince them to join me. Which would actually give us a good attack into Canada. Which would actually give us a good attack into the Let's see, so yeah, we're pushing. We're kind of driving out all the men, but we also have to take massive amounts of troops, like massive. And I'm going to try to block. Yeah, let's get all of our men into semi less bad places because we really need to make sure we get to nutrition. And here comes the problem with fighting against Russia, is that it's so big. It's so big. You will have difficult, like, this is legitimately, you will have difficulties trying to conquer anything in Russia. Russia is so dang big, it will take a lot of men to fight against them. 
but as long as I quickly blitz and cling them, I think I should be fine. And if anything Adolf Hitler has taught me, you blitz and cling the Russians as quickly as possible, and usually you will win. Wait, no, it was World War One, so that would be Frederick. That would have been Frederick, sorry, not Adolf. Frederick would have been the one that taught me this. Okay. Also Napoleon, to a lesser extent, but he didn't actually succeed, he kind of failed. Okay, he's all blitz and cling. Move all you guys to right here. And I'm starting to kind of block up all these little tiny armies that keep spawning in here. I'm kind of getting annoyed by that, but at least they're all moving into more of his defensible positions. You want your military alliance back? Well, you probably should have joined my war. Actually, it's a good thing you didn't join my war. It's probably would have given me massive amounts of um, corruption. Alright, let's see. If we can get America on our side in this war. We could massively turn the tides of these battles more into our favor. The only problem is that America is the most militaristic power right now. But it's going to save the most militaristic power. So I would have to add, make sure I add in all my war goals before this. So, let's make sure we add in all my war goals before this. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to add? Well, at some point I did want, I still wanted to conquer this island right here more. British Indonesia. Let's see. British Indonesia is. Wait, what is this region called? British Sumatra. Because it has so much oil and stuff, I want that still. Even today, I still want that. So let's see. Britain, I want to add a region. Uh, wire colony, Sumatra. I'm pretty sure Sumatra is not underneath their control. There we go. 13.3. That's not too much in for me. I can deal with that. Okay. There we go. And here we're dealing with massive amounts of attacks. And we're gonna go after them. We're just gonna keep attacking them until the last hit. This is where most of my like rebellion is. Or most of my like spawn troops. So they're kinda in the worst position ever to be spawning. This is where most of my men are. I mean, I'm not really sending in my men over here anymore because I can basically fight them all. Okay, let's go right here. Let's go right there. Let's see, how are the Japanese dealing with the threat of invasion? Not really well because they aren't really doing anything. Over here, we basically messed over the Chinese, but yeah. Um, that's all I want from Sumatra, and that should be good. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Like, I'm not joking, guys. That should be good. So let's go ahead and add it in And as much as I hate that, I'm not going to say, oh wait, call an ally. Likelihood, not very likely. Let's see. Who would actually join the war? Let's get that first off. Well, they're already in the war. Uh, yeah, it's actually basically all these guys in the war right now. And all of us are just like, meh, we're not joining in. <laughs> oh my goodness. And most of my men just, I just realized, are all dead. That is sad. I've lost a lot of good men when I was attacking these guys. Okay, now I have a weak flank right there. I can easily accommodate that if I break up these guys. Yeah, you want to make sure, the one thing you got to always make sure in this game is make sure you never leave an empty spot. If you leave an empty hole, you will make sure, you will almost guarantee that they will use that to exploit it. You guys, okay. Canada, really? You guys are invading me? Oh my goodness, I really gotta step up my game. Okay, let's go conquer back this region right over here, or these two regions. Alright, we're, we're taking way too much. I'm sorry guys, you're gonna have to be taxed to the utmost. We're gonna use as much money as possible to support our men. Make sure that we do not die in this war. And make sure that we do not like, fall to the... Might of the socialist world. I think this is basically the socialist world that we're fighting. Um, I mean, we do have some allies on the socialist, but this is basically the socialist world. I'll be honest. Okay, you guys go back here. We're gonna go have these guys go back and go fight all these guys. I'm starting to hate all these guys over here in my territory. Like, this is starting to really annoy me. Okay, like, we've almost pushed out the entire Russian... Actually, we have pushed out the entire Russian army. Good. I'm going to kind of create a good gigantic medium front, that way we're invading Russia. Over here though, uh, yeah, I love their, I love their fighting style, but I think Germany really needs some help from somebody else. 
Bavaria, you probably would not join in, would you? Not even if I called you in, would you? Yeah, you guys are basically calm. Uh, they're fascists. Wow. Okay, but luckily, the good thing about this entire thing is that I'm the war leader right now, so I can decide where the war is ending. So, unlike last time when I got messed over because of that stupid thing, this is kind of my revenge, everyone, in a sense. I have multiple revenges, as everyone knows from my games. I have multiple revenges. So let's see. I actually don't know where those 90k British troops will do. And I'm kind of curious to see what they'll do because they're not technically in my mess about today. You guys are right there. And yeah, we're just casually moving into the back of Russia because Russia doesn't want to pay attention. Which means we have to put a little bit more pressure on them. And I'm going to try to divide up the city. Long live India! Again! Okay. I'm going to try to divide up the land a little bit. I definitely don't want them to... See. Yeah, because if we can just divide up Russia into like two parts, one right over there, one right over here, we could definitely like use that to our advantage. Like, because then we don't have to worry about too much. Like, I don't know if you guys can realize this, but if we don't have to will realize about too much, we'll be happy campers. I mean, we'll be like seriously happy campers. I mean, That's all I gotta say, so let's divide these guys, you guys go right there, you guys go right there, there we go, and we're just gonna slowly but surely take over all this, you guys are getting crushed behind my end, behind my lines, it's good, I'm gonna have more of my troops moving here, yeah you see, I'm much more efficient at conquering all of this than they are, I'm gonna go crush these guys while they're still kind of weak, so if I crush them now, I can possibly deal a heavy blow to them before, yeah and then, Canada is losing all of its army. Just keep following Canada. And you guys are having confused, I guess, because these guys are on mountains. And then here comes the actual British soldiers. We're gonna need to send these guys. We're gonna send these guys. We're gonna send these guys. That will be my army. This will be my three armies to go fight the British. Because that army is gonna be big. And that army is gonna be big. That's just not you guys are about with that, you guys are about with that, you guys are about with that, you know, just, but, I can't, this is part of Russia, it's so big, I can't decide where I'm invading, you guys are gonna go help out with that battle. We're basically, guys, in all honesty, we are basically good. I'm not really with Germany. How's Germany doing? Germany is actually doing pretty fine. Like, for the majority of the battles, we're still basically winning. I mean, these battles will win easily, and then they'll be able to crush some of these armies. And, I mean, we're basically... The Germans are ultimately going to win this scenario. The Germans always win this scenario. So, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, we're even beating some of, uh, you know, the mighty UK and army. So, you know, this is all good stuff. So, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.